Hello, beings of the world. I am Serene Dolphin, and I hope you're having a fantastic day. Welcome to my channel and part 7 of the Forsaken Starting Adventure. Uh, this is Undead Dolphin the Priest, and uh, we are just about done with this zone. Um, which, uh, we'll see how this goes. Uh, there's an interesting quest coming up uh, very soon, and we'll see how it goes. But, uh, what did we do last time? Well, uh, we were over in, uh, let's see, Agamon Mills. Uh, we defeated the Agamon family. <clears throat> and a whole bunch of Scourge. Uh, we took, uh, one of the Agamons, Devlin, to, uh, Brill to try to see if we can release his hold, um, from the Lich King. And it turns out that did not happen. He was not happy. It looked like it was going to happen for a moment and then it did not. Um, so we were unsuccessful. And then uh, we came out here uh, to this area, the Bulwark, and we uh, got rid of some Scarlet Crusaders and we noticed that some of them had already died with purple fire glowing. And we killed some bears, uh, because, you know, killing bears is a great time. And that's where we left off. We picked up two more quests. Uh, one is a simple, just collect some spider venom. And the other one is, uh, look for the new ally. Uh, the one who apparently made the purple, fiery, glowing corpses. <clears throat> As I said last time, sorry, excuse me for uh, clearing my throat there. Um, as I said last time, um, you probably have some idea who this is if you've been paying attention and had watched uh, the earlier videos in this series. Someone is here killing bears. Maybe they'll be able to help me on this quest. I'm kind of nervous to do it on screen, I'm not gonna lie. It could go very, very badly. <clears throat> Goodness, it's like I have a frog in my throat. Oh, yeah, I'd, I'd probably missed my opportunity. Oh, well. Um, so we have uh, some clue as to who that might be. Um... No, I'm not going to tell you. You're just going to have to figure it out. But let's uh, let's get this spider quest done and out of the way with first. And uh, hopefully, uh, whoever this powerful new ally is is going to help us. Uh, yep, you can see one of the corp fiery corpses up ahead. That is not our doing. We do not have the power to do that. No, we do not. I keep forgetting about my new ability there. Uh, last time we got to level 12 and got this Devouring Plague ability, uh, which seems very powerful. Um, So we'll see how it goes. There we go. Starting now, finally get some venom. For some reason I thought the drop rates would be better than that, but I'm wrong. <laughs> I think what part of the powerfulness of this ability is uh, the amount of damage it does over six seconds. It also heals uh, for quite a bit, and uh, I will say that that's kind of, I mean, I think that's overkill. Um, we definitely, I mean, with Power Word Shield going, we, we rarely, if ever, take damage. But, you know. And with uh, Shadow Word Pain going together, we actually got a decent amount- Oh! Large brown sack! 
Oh, that's excellent. That's just excellent. Here, let, we'll clear out these first and then we'll... Okay, it just reminds me of Vanilla all over again, where getting bags was a very awesome thing and something to celebrate. Uh, I'm going to tell you right now that a 10 slot bag at these lower levels is very rare and not something to be expected. No siri. I haven't even needed to, like, heal myself at all. Priestess are so pow powerful. I don't know. I think they're powerful. Okay. We've taken care of that. It is time to go visit our new ally. According to the handy dandy arrow, she is... Oh, whoop. They are... How do I know it's a she? Um, they are somewhere in, uh, in the northern part of the spidery woods. Get our dots going. Just make her way through. Maybe get these hellhounds. Dark hounds? Not really. I don't know where I got hellhound from. It's not what they are. Just bite my way to see more of those fiery corpses. Wonder if our friend is over there. Friend, I guess I'm going to put in quotation marks because <clears throat> we don't know. Not just uh, one, but a ton. A whole encampment. And uh, we have a grizzly site over here of... Uh, oh my god, it's twitching. Is that supposed to happen? Is he alive? I don't think that's supposed to happen. A deadly new ally... As you look over the ruins of the camp, you hear a whisper behind you. I could kill you right now if I wanted to. You'd better watch your step, undead. Well, it doesn't sound too friendly. A daughter's embrace. The whisper continues. My name is Lillian Voss. Yep, she's back. Before I died, I was a member of the Scarlet Crusade. My father, High Priest Voss, raised me to be a weapon against the plagued. I studied self, sorcery, martial arts, anything to make myself stronger. I gave up my childhood for him. Then, as fate would have it, I died and returned as... this. My father instantly forgot me, and when I returned, ordered me executed. Come, we will speak with him now, in his tower to the northwest. Bring Lillian Voss to her father in the tower at Crusader's Run. For, uh, not an upgrade. But I will take the bag. Okay, there's Lillian Voss. There she is. And, uh, she's got the purple fire going. I got my shadowy form going. Let's go. Now... Okay, just checking to make sure I'm heading in the right direction. This quest. This. This quest. My blade, stay sharp. I hate this quest. And the main reason why I hate this quest is because it you fail it when she dies. And uh, keeping myself alive, if, if it was just a matter of that, uh, no problemo. Done, done, done. Um, I can do it. Keeping her alive? And for some reason when I try to use healing spells on her, it doesn't work. And the problem is, is that she's very, uh, aggressive. She will run 
I mean, she will run ahead, she will aggro, all sorts of things. And I just want her to stay in the back, stay out of sight, you know, just let me handle it, let me DPS things down. Like, just like what's going on now with these dark hounds, you know, just like that. The problem is, if it, if uh, we were only fighting one thing at a time, I think this quest would be done easily and I wouldn't worry about whatsoever. However, usually you're fighting more than one thing. I think we're going to have a little bit of an easier time because I am ranged uh, and I can pull things to me, but uh, not, not too much easier. You'll see what I mean. I very well could fail this and uh, I might try again uh, but if uh, if if I keep failing it then I am going to uh, then I am going to uh, do it off camera at least get to see look she runs ahead she see and then she does oh Okay, or see that's what she's supposed to do, and that makes it easy. But she doesn't always do it. What is it you ask? Can I heal her? Okay, at least it's let me heal her. And I might have to do that. I might have to. Uh. I might have to heal keep healing her. I live my life okay. In the well, if it's allowing me heal her this time, uh, I can see this going okay. The end part is the part that's the most dangerous. I can usually... See, you gotta watch out for patrols, too. See, and then she pulls them all together like this. And if she does her little maneuver, it's fine. You know? Um, it's fine. But I, I hate it when she does I Ugh. Because just let me do the pulling. Let me do the killing. I mean, your move is... And I'm getting these ones, even though you're kind of like... You don't have to get those ones. What are you doing? Uh, well... Uh, I've gotten screwed over by ignoring these guys before, and honestly, there are just more people she can pull. Oh, I must be in shadow form. Why am I not in shadow form? Did someone get knock me out of shadow form? Okay, he's- oops, he's targeting me. So that's great. Oh, Lillian, why did you do that? Ugh. And then she's hard to target. I might, I might just target her. Out of shadow form again. See, if she would just do that and not pull a ball towards her, then, uh, yeah, we'll have a. Oh, man. This I can see going poorly. It, it just gets harder as you go forward. I'm gonna target her, I'm afraid. Yep, I knew she was gonna do that. Oh, here comes someone. Oh, well. 
if we have someone here to help us, then uh, I think we're about to luck out. Oh, okay. Let's let's target his Lillian boss. I I don't even care if I don't get to loot these. I'm just so happy someone else is here and that we might be able to get this quest done. This is the smoothest this has ever gone. This is excellent. Oh, someone just respawned. But that's all we want to do. That's all we need to do is is get in here. There she goes. She takes him out. She said, Father, Lily, you raised me to be a killer. How am I doing, Daddy? I, uh, I remember now. I, but wait, I remember now. You taught me to kill only the undead. So you want me to kill myself, Daddy? Yeah, that, that was just going too fast for me to, to do. Okay. And it's done. So basically, she has avenged herself. She's killed her father. She's tortured him a little bit. Uh, we still have to get out of here, but now I only have to worry about myself and not keeping her alive. And that's easier to do. Because I am overpowered. I mean, I don't know if you noticed uh, when I was clicking art. She only had 185 health, Lillian Voss, uh, compared to my 423. So, uh, very weak. Um, I'm just happy because it looked like she used her ability correctly. Um, I've had times where she would pull everyone towards her and not use her ability. So she was basically tanking, you know, four people at the same time. And we know that doesn't work very well. Um, yeah, and uh, and I and sometimes the healing spell wouldn't work. Sometimes I had a hard time targeting her. Sometimes I got to her before I could even have a chance to heal her uh, because she was taking so much damage. So uh, we had someone to help out with the. Uh, most horrible part in the end. I'm not sure if we needed the help, but I was taking the help. Um, I kind of let them just go for it, and, you know, and not worry about it too much. We're gonna aggro this guy here. Oh, and that guy, but that's all good. I mean, I'm just giddy right now that I got this to work, you know, that I finished the quest the first time on, uh, oh, I'm out of shadow form again, gosh darn it. And now I have a, don't have a target. Am I a noob or what? Okay. Oh, and then I could, I should have power word fourth them, why did I not do that? Um, I'm just so happy that I didn't have to redo this on video. You gotta see it. Uh, maybe when I get there, I will read the whole thing to you. They, they, they got the whole, uh, the whole interaction right there on, uh, on my chat window. So maybe I'll go through that and. Uh, didn't explore every part of this zone, but that's okay. Let's see if I do a good job running through mobs this time. Gah! Lots of bats. Lots and lots and lots of bats. Nope. I aggroed something. I heard it. But we are faster. And, ah! The, 
This bat was not having it. And he said, nope, not today. So, actually, uh, I'm trying to think about it, and I think we might be near done with this, uh, zone here. Um, I'm actually trying to think of what the next quest is after this, and I think there's just, uh, um, a return to Brill quest. Um, I don't know, maybe, maybe there's more and I'm just forgetting it. That very well could be. Um, so if you're having a good time with Terrace Fall, uh, you know, I'm sorry it's just about done, but, uh, you know, a good time was had by all. It was great fun. And that means more new content, new zone coming out sooner. Uh, I forgot what I was going to say. Okay. A little oomph. Do you have some venom from a vicious nightweb spider yet, Undone Dolphin? It's the final component I need in order to test my experiment. Ah, this venom will do perfectly, Undead Dolphin. Everything else has been added to my concoction and boiled down. Thank you, priest. No, thank you for the gloves. And the money. Whoa. Yeah, I suppose that's some oomph all right. Your cauldron exploded. Did you notice that? daughter's embrace. From birth to grave to undeath, we all have our own path to follow. Some are easier than others. It sounds like this Voss girl has had a rough path so far. Hopefully she ultimately chooses to join us and follow the Dark Lady. With power like hers, we could do incredible things. By the way, Undead Dolphin, excellent work out there. If you're ever ready and willing, I may have some more work for you in the Plaguelands. And, uh, that is true. He will. To bigger and better things. There isn't much more glory for you here on the bulwark, Undead Dolphin. You've done enough already. There may, however, be further adventures waiting in Silver Pine Forest. Speak with my Batman, Timothy Cunningham. He'll give you a ride to Brill free of charge. Speak with Timothy Cunningham at the bulwark in Tearsfall Glades. Ah, uh, okay. I thought there was a breadcrumb quest to go to back to Brill. Uh, I might sell some things first. We got a repair vendor here. Now that we're above level 10, repairs will be needed. Uh, I don't know what stat... I guess it depends on what I like more. I'm gonna... Whoa, 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 whoa! They had five intellect on it! What am I doing? Okay. Be careful what you sell. Let's turn shadow form off so I can see what I'm doing here. First, I mean, it's simple, but uh, it's better than what we got, I think. Yeah, just adds intellect, so that's good. And uh, this is this. Uh, staff, and then let's see what this one looks like. Looks more like a proper staff, doesn't it? Cool. Uh, yeah, I, I'll prefer that one. Okay. Now let's talk to Timothy. 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 I am forsaken. To bigger and better things. Sure, I'll give you a ride. If High Executor Darrington asks for it, then technically I have to. Take to the skies. If you're headed back to Brill, you'll want to stop by Executor Zygan on your way out. I hear there's some excitement going on in Silver Pine Forest to the south. He'll know more than I do. Speak with me again when you're ready to head out. Speak with Executor Zygan at Brill in Tearsful Glades. Alright, I'll take that flight to Brill. I won't say no to a free flight. And we take a glance at Tears Fall Glades one last time. 
you know, it, it's alright for a starting zone. Um, not my favorite. Uh, although, uh, the undead philosophy, I don't, I don't know, it's fascinating to me only because it's so unlike my own. Uh, I would not be a good undead. I'm glad I'm not undead. <laughs> uh, or at least the undead of the World of Warcraft world. Um, although, honestly, I might spend my time... I don't know. Maybe I would be a researcher. They they do love their research, and that doesn't sound too bad to me. But, like, all this playing nonsense, yeah, I'm not into that. Speak quickly. Take to the skies. Welcome back, undead dolphin. I've heard stories from the east. Who would have thought that a young undead priest like you would have been the one to wipe out the last whimpering remnants of the Scarlet Crusade? Eh, you know. Don't underestimate me. Um. Our time will come. Alright. And, uh, we just got, uh, automatically a quest to report to Grand Executor Mortuus? Morchus at Forsaken High Command in Silver Pine Forest. So, uh, but that's the next zone. Uh, that concludes the starting adventure for the undead in Tears Fall Glades. Um, hopefully that was enough content for one video. It feels like this went very by very quickly, but um, just going to warn everyone that uh, this will be the last video of this week. Um, I am going, uh, on my bi-weekly, not, how do, how do I say, how do you say it when it's every other week? Because bi-weekly sounds like twice a week. I don't know. Every other week, I go to Kansas City, um, uh, for personal reasons, so, uh, that this is my weekend to go, so I won't have my computer with me, and, uh, and usually weekends are tough anyway because I got, uh, you know, so much going on. There's too many people here, too much white noise, just can't do it. When we have a house full of people, you can't tell them all to just be quiet, uh, especially if there's children involved. So, um, so next week, uh, probably on Monday, because uh, I'll be back by then, uh, we will start with the new zone. Uh, you probably have an idea of what it is. You notice I've been going through the Horde starting zones, and we're, uh, getting low on the number of zo starting zones left for the Horde. So, uh, in fact, I think we are down to two. So take your pick, make your guess, see if you're right, uh, next week. If you like what you saw, go ahead and leave a like. If you have any questions, remarks, criticism, praise, use the comment section below. And if you really liked what you saw and want to know when the next video is coming out and you didn't pay attention and listen to me say it's Monday, hit subscribe and you will get that information. Alright, thank you so much everyone for watching. Take care and I will see you next time.